Welcome to the University of Leuven. Welcome to the program in actuarial and financial engineering. I'm very glad to virtually say hi to, to all of you, new students entering our exciting program. And in this uh, presentation, I would like to address a few key points, a few highlights of the program uh, to give you a, a smooth uh, start of your uh, education at the University of uh, Leuven. So if you look at our uh, master's program in actuarial and financial engineering, then you'll notice from the title of my sheet that we offer this particular program in two languages. We've got a fully English, um, English taught master program uh, of 120 credits, but we also have got a Dutch equivalent. Uh, the two programs, uh, they are exactly the same when it comes to the compulsory courses. So the, the whole set of compulsory uh, lecture material, like, uh, the whole set of compulsory courses is taught in English, but in the Dutch program, you will go for uh, electives, which are uh, taught in, in Dutch, and you will also write your master's thesis then in Dutch. So let us start with saying a few words about your potential future self. So what we mean with that is, um, let, me, let me say a few words about the kind of profiles and professional profiles that we aim to develop with our particular master's program. So in my opinion, we've got with the Master of Actuarial and Financial Engineering, we've got a very unique and strong uh, selling point, and that is that we offer you a unique blend of courses, principles, foundations from the social sciences on the one hand. And what I mean with that is that you'll get uh, course material that you learn principles from, from finance, from corporate finance, but also from economics, law, regulation, marketing, even pension systems design, uh, things like that. But we're going to combine this with a quantitative lens, right? So we're going to combine this coursework with a big focus on uh, principles, foundations from what we call the STEM area. And so the engineering, mathematics, science and technology field. And the key elements that we need from this, um, from this set of skills is that you're going to work a lot with random variables, with probability theory, you're going to code in multiple uh, environments and languages, you're going to learn principles of data science, uh, mathematical uh, thinking, computational thinking, and apply that to these uh, to the topics and to the financial uh, topics that you see on the left of this uh, sheet. So putting these key elements together, you'll see that we're going to offer you courses on risk management, and both from a more financial perspective, but also from a very quantitative perspective. We're going to work with data science for insurance products. We're going to work with the design of these insurance products, financial engineering, we're going to do actuarial mathematics for pensions, uh, study principles of social security systems, and much, much more, right? If we then look at the kind of jobs positions that our graduates from the program occupy, then you see that we've got a wide range of um, qualifications, a wide range of, of, of uh, possible uh, professional uh, directions here listed on the sheet. You see here uh, the qualified actuary with the IABA, and IABA stands for the Institute of Actuaries in Belgium. So um, getting the degree from our master's program enables you to join the Institute of Actuaries in, in Belgium. So that's uh, one professional direction that I particularly want to emphasize on, on this sheet. And then, of course, it depends on your own uh, professional interests and whether you would rather opt for a career as a regulator in the financial industry, a uh, career as a financial engineer, as a pricing actuary, as an actuary working in employee benefits, as a risk manager, or even a pension expert. So all of that is possible with the coursework that we deliver in the program. So let us take a look at how the program is structured and mention uh, a few things which are useful for you to know as a, as a, as a new student uh, starting in this uh, master's program. So first of all, uh, we often use the acronym MAFE. Uh, so MAFE obviously stands for the Master of Actuarial and Financial Engineering. Uh, this is a two-year full-time program, so 120 credits. And I already mentioned the Dutch equivalent. Uh, so there we use the acronym MAF 
B, which then stands for the Master in the Actuariële and Financiële Wetenschap. So, um, looking back at the admission uh, requirements, one of the things you should keep in mind as a new student in the program is that we welcome students with a bit of a heterogeneous uh, background, let's say. So we've got a lot of uh, students with an academic bachelor or master degree in business economics, business engineering, economics, applied economics, um, programs like this, right? But we also have uh, a substantial number of students with a background from, for instance, mathematics, physics, engineering, informatics, computer science, mathematical engineering. So coming typically coming in typically from a faculty of science or a faculty of engineering, right? So I think this is once again, one of the unique uh, strong points of our program uh, that we have this uh, blend of students with, with different backgrounds coming together to study uh, financial products, to study uh, insurance mathematics, actuarial science, financial engineering, but with a broad view. Huh? So not exclusively on the quantitative um, mindset, but, but also looking at topics like regulation, um, putting these products into, into practice and, and look at it from different uh, angles. So um, if you never had a course in general economics, let's say a bit of macro and micro economics, we'll ask you to follow a prep program. The prep program only consists of a single course of six, cred six credits and will give you the foundation of uh, general uh, economic uh, principles. You can follow this course both in the first semester or in the second semester. So there's a lot of flexibility to um, combine the regular master with this prep program. So if we look at the composition of the actual master, uh, master's uh, program, then we'll see that we're gonna do uh, quite a substantial amount of fundamental and compulsory coursework. Uh, that's about 64 up to 66 uh, credits. And our courses are organized along five pillars. So there is the actuarial engineering pro pillar with a focus on life, health and pensions. Then we've got the actuarial engineering pillar with a focus on data science, so more than non-life insurance uh, products. Then we'll study risk engineering, financial engineering and also some regulation uh, topics. Next to the fundamental coursework, there is, of course, the master's thesis, the master's paper, which here um, counts for 24 credits in our study program. And in the elective coursework, you can put your own emphasis uh, along uh, the kind of coursework, the kind of uh, topics that, that you're personally interested in. Uh, and I specifically also want to mention that you've got the possibility there to go for an internship and to uh, valorize this, this internship in your master's program with a course of six credits, right? So it's possible to, to do an internship and to actually make it part of your study program here. We also have possibilities uh, for, for um, study mobility, uh, but of course, given the, the pandemic situation, uh, it's a bit uncertain what, we're, what we will be able to offer you for the next year. So let me say a few words about the master's thesis. You typically write this master, master's thesis in the second year of uh, the program. It counts for 24 credits. You can do a topic with one of the professors in, in the program. You can also work on your master's thesis in combination with a company, with an internship even, and you'll get a lot of uh, possibilities for that. A lot of offers from companies will be posted. Um, throughout the, the year will be posted on our Toledo, on our online learning platform. So if you're interested in that, you can follow one of the posts over there. I also want to mention, being the program director, I also want to mention our uh, educational committee. In Dutch, we call that the POC. So it's a committee uh, where the program director meets with students, uh, representatives, with representative representatives from the teaching staff, from the professors. So we meet approximately four times per year. And this is also the, the, the place to discuss um, points of improvement of the program, to see how things are working, to discuss possible changes for uh, the future of the program and so on and so forth. 
So I would be, um, I would much appreciate uh, if one of the first year students would be willing to act as the student's representative of, of the first year students. Uh, we already have a representative for the second year students, but it would be great if one of you could um, take care of this job and interact with us to see where we can improve and to also uh, see where things are working out pretty well already. So if you look at uh, the, the positioning of our courses uh, throughout the curriculum offered at KU Leuven, so of course we have our master's, which is a uh, complete educational program at master level of uh, two years full-time study. But on the other hand, much of our courses, many of our courses are also offered as electives in other study programs. So for example, within the Masters of Business Engineering, in the track with focus on risk and finance, or in the track with focus on actuarial and financial engineering. Um, a similar, um, something similar applies to the Master of Business and Information Systems Engineering and the Masters of Business Economics. For the students coming in from the Faculty of Science, it is um, interesting to mention that many of our courses are also offered as electives in the Master of Mathematics and also in the Master of Statistics and Data Science. So why do I mention that? That's more for prospective students, uh, students who are currently in one of those programs and may consider uh, going for actuarial and financial engineering afterwards. So then you can create a very smooth transition from your current degree to the to the Mathe program, if you already pick up, uh, if you already include some of our courses as electives in your current study program. So, if you're interested in that, if you still have questions, feel free to send me an email to to discuss this. I do want to mention that with all the teachers, all the professors who are active in the program, we've got a research center. It's called L Risk. So we focus, of course, on insurance and financial risk analysis. We've got a website where you can read some stories from our uh, alumni, young alumni, but also more senior alumni, where you can read um, profiles of our, of our teachers in the program and, and where you can find out more about our research and educational activities. So I kindly invite you to take a look at our website, lrisk.bv. So like I said, uh, we've got some alumni stories um, uh, put together over there. So I think it's pretty uh, interesting huh, to, to take a look at what um, some recent graduates are saying about our program to, to also see uh, which jobs they're currently working in and what kind of background they had before joining our program. Uh, at the moment that you graduate from our MAFE program, uh, we really would like to keep in touch with you. And we've got a dedicated alumni uh, association for the students in actuarial and financial engineering. We call it Alumni and Friends Actuariat Leuven. We've got a website. Uh, we organize uh, a yearly event um, where we bring together uh, the alumni of the program and, and, and offer networking possibilities and offer an interesting discussion of some uh, timely topics in actuarial and financial engineering. So to conclude, a few uh, pictures of the professors that you will meet throughout the programs. So there is me, uh, I'm serving as the program director, but I also teach the courses on loss models, data science for non-life insurance and advanced uh, life insurance uh, mathematics. There is my colleague Jan Dana, who is the head of research of our uh, insurance uh, research group at the Faculty of Economics, Jan Berland, the head of El Risk. And we've also got our colleagues from uh, the law faculty, Caroline van Schouwbroek and Veerle Kollert, colleagues from the finance group, among which uh, Kristen Smets. And we've got visiting professors coming in from industry, among which uh, Professor Beckers, teaching actuarial mathematics for pensions. Uh, we've got Jan de Spiegel at the right hand side, teaching uh, risk management and stochastic models. And we've got colleagues from the Faculty of Science, Department of Mathematics, uh, Wim Schoutens, covering the topics on financial mathematics and financial engineering. So that's it on my behalf. Uh, so once again, a very warm welcome. I hope to see you all soon in Leuven. Um, we may also meet online through various uh, platforms and, and meetings, but do know that with the whole team, 
we are um, very much looking forward to get started with the academic year. We'll do our very best to make it an exciting year, whether it's organized on campus or online. We hope you all stay uh, safe and have a splendid educational experience at the CAFE. See you soon.